Hey everybody, it's Dave from Resin Force Products here at Clean Pro Supply. We're going to talk about Resin Force Easy Mend. This is a one to one polyuria rapid setting product. Uh, on the label, you'll see where it says 20M. That means it's ready to grind in 20 minutes. We do that on some of our products. So, you know, recoat times, uh, walking times, grinding times, whatever. Try to make it as easy as possible, which is why we call this Easy Mend. And what we're going to do here is we're going to cut these cracks. We're going to do some shot blasting to get the concrete prepped. And then uh, we'll, we'll use this Bosch uh, crack chaser, the, the BP9 shot blaster, and then some uh, condiment bottles. These are 32 ounce ketchup bottles basically, but they're condiment bottles. And then we're gonna fill that in and then that's what I'm used to fill everything. So this is the Bosch uh, crack chaser. It's got a full shroud and this is a quarter inch uh, blade, V blade. So the, the shape of the blade is in the shape of a V and we're gonna literally chase through the crack. We're not gonna cut, lift, turn, cut, lift, turn. We're just gonna contour through the crack with the full shroud. The, the one and a half inch cuff to the two inch hose. I'm gonna put my safety glasses on and we're gonna to get to town. We cut the crack out. You'll notice I did a couple of them twice just because of how wide the cracks were. I wanted to get one on one side and then come back and do it again on the other side just to get both walls of the crack. Um, you'll notice here how the blade is recessed down about a half inch to three quarters of an inch. That gives us enough, uh, enough depth in the cut for the product to bond to the walls of the concrete. So now I'm gonna pick up the shot after shot blasting. We have this little magnet. This magnet's great for doing edges, uh, but for the sake of this video, we can just do this small area. Now we have the cracks cut out. We shot blasted this little area that's gonna resemble pitting right here. Next step is I'm gonna show you how to mix it, add sand, shoot it into the cracks, and then we can put it over across the, uh, the pitting as well. Okay, we're gonna have this uh, condiment bottle that we're gonna to use to fill it. So we're gonna pop this top off. And then I'm gonna use a razor blade to cut this tip because we want a bigger tip. And put your A cap on your A lid. Don't mix them up because if you put the wrong cap on the wrong jug, it's gonna almost weld itself shut. So now this is already starting to go. So I'm gonna mix this for about five or six seconds and then start adding my sand. I'm adding in about another eight. And if you wanna go heavier, 10 or 12 ounces of sand. Now one of the really nice features of this product is the sand stays suspended in the easy mend. It'll sink a little bit, but for the most part, it stays suspended like a slushy. So I'm gonna pour this in here. So what I'm gonna do is fill this in the joint here, or the crack. Just slightly overfill it. If you overfill it too much, you're just gonna have to grind that much more away. Now when you get to a spalled area, fill this in here and just Kind of even it out a little bit and then you can use a hand trowel or a stick, whatever you want and just make it flush. But you have about six minutes to work with this. So it's real easy to use. You can form it, you can trowel it, you can repair aprons. You could even use it for cove, I suppose, if you really wanted to. Probably a little bit quick for cove, but any little repairs you need to do. Real simple and see how runny that still is at once we hit that six minute mark, that's when it's just going to snap and you'll see that once this cures in about 15 minutes, it'll be ready to grind. 
maybe 20 at most. It's like I'm out. Uh, this will dry and cure gray. That works great for the cracks and the deep spalls, but when you have really shallow spalls, such as these little dimples here, um, of course, we're gonna shot blast that first. Right now, this part's not shot blasted, but I'm gonna show you anyway. For the really shallow spalls, you do not wanna use sand because you want the liquid to be very low viscosity, penetrate the pores of that miniature spall or dimple, and that way when you go to regrind it, it doesn't pop back out. And we'll mix this, if you're just doing a liquid, since we're not putting the sand in and continuing to mix, uh, about 10 to 20 seconds is all you really need. Just to make sure it's uniform, one to one. This is gonna dry gray. Once we're mixed, now what we can do is come in and pour it into our little spalls. Like that, whoop, a little too much actually. Doesn't take much. Another thing you could even do is you can use just a grout coat. Say I wanted a grout coat with it. I don't have a hand trowel right here with me now, but you can use this. Ground's a little dirty with some rocks. And then we'll grind that. You can see this is already starting to turn gray. That's how you know it's curing. And once it's rock solid, it's ready to grind. If you poke at it and it's a little bit mushy, it's still too early to grind. You do want to wait for this to be rock hard before you grind it. And if you're playing with it for about five minutes, then about tw uh, 15 minutes after that, meaning 20 minutes after you started mixing it, you'll be ready to grind and then just keep going. You're going to save an entire day on a job using this product because otherwise if you're using epoxy or something that's going to take you two hours, six hours, 12 hours, then you have to come back the next day to grind your patchwork. You don't want to do that. That's lost profit. That's lost time. You can't do as many jobs in a week. So this will speed things up. You get more jobs done in a week, uh, less time, less labor, saves you money, makes you more money. Uh, this product has taken a lot of contractors that we're selling this to from a three-day install down to a two-day install or a two-day install down to a one-day install, depending on how much patchwork is needed. Now that we've waited about 15, 20 minutes, it's all cured and ready to go. You'll notice it's all gray now. It's no longer black. So we're going to grind the surface of the cracks, spalls, pits, and then whatever we did there, just for demonstration purposes. Here we're just using a low grit aggressive cup wheel. I think this is 16 grit. Uh, this is just a five inch uh, grinder. Everything is all ground up. And the idea, of course, is to fully abrade everything. So if there's any low spots, you do need to make sure it's scratched. If you didn't fill it enough, like there's a little spot right here that is a little bit glossy still. Uh, so that means I did not overfill it to then be able to grind it flush with the concrete. It's actually a little bit recessed still. Uh, if you grind an area and this happens, what you'd want to do is dig it out a little bit and then repatch that one spot and then regrind it again. Um, if you just leave it like this and then you put your epoxy on top of that, it will stick, but it won't bond because it's actually a little bit glossy. Even though it's textured, it's still cured over. The pores are closed up. It's not open like this. Nothing's going to penetrate and bond to it. So you would, that one little spot, you would want to grind a little bit deeper, repatch that one spot, and then finish with your system. But you'll notice over here where we kind of grout coated it, you don't have to get through everything. Uh, you just need to make sure it's flush and fully abraded because if you grind too deep into the floor, especially if it's pitted, now you're gonna have a belly in the floor and you don't want a belly in the floor. So here where we shot blasted, you'll see a little bit of the gray line here. That's where the patch is, and then it's flush with the concrete. We're not gonna dig it right back out, it just stays filled in. So then what we're gonna do next is vacuum the concrete and then move on to our epoxy coat. I uh, hope everybody had a great experience learning how to use the Easy Mend. Uh, this is again a one-to-one -one polyurea. You have about six minutes to work with it, and then you're ready to grind in about 20 minutes. No odor, you don't have to worry about that as well either. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video or ask questions on the video, shoot me a message, uh, give us a call or an email, whatever works for you, and we're happy to help. Take care.